everyone, what's Chloe here? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a kind of different video that I've never done before. Today's video about the title and the thumbnail, you guys already know, but today's video is going to be my glow up routine if I'm going to an event, which I am. This is what I look like when I'm fully done and everything like that. For this glow up routine, I went full hectic. I do my hair, I do my makeup, I do my brows, my nails, and my outfit and everything like that. But if you want to know like the daily steps of what I do to get like this, then you can keep on watching. But I really am proud of of how I look but I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to know how I went from a 60 to a hundred just keep on watching One, two, three, let's go. everybody it is time to get these nails a bit more glowed up than they are i haven't been able to get my nails done because firstly they've been shut and second of all i just don't want to leave my house a beautiful company called all dashing reached out to me and wanted to send me three pairs of press on nails so this is basically what started the idea of this video they're instant manicure there is three nails in each packet i kind of showed this in a past weekly vlog if you've seen that i don't think i've ever used press on nails because these are press on nails these aren't glue they are do have a sticky adhesive in the back but i'll show you everything in depth but i'm going to use this pair today so this is the pair i'm going to be wearing today but this is the outer packaging this is the front and this is the back so the back does have all the instructions that you need to know they are a little bit shorter than i usually would like them and it's not actually my shape i like i'm usually a long coffin type of gal i did recently find another company that does press on so if i like the look of press ons on my nails i'm going to try them again with a different company and just test out different companies but for now i'm going to try all dashing because they kind of sent these out to me so in this i'm pretty sure you just get the nails you get the alcohol wipe you also get a file and i'm pretty sure you get like a little wooden stick thing i don't know what to call it so i want to show you a before of my nails my nails are literally disgusting because i pick them like non-stop that's one of the reasons why i like to get acrylics all the time is because i pick my nails constantly but this is a close-up of my grotty ass nails i'm so sorry that you have to watch this so this is my grotty nails loving life you know just living my life my thumbs are the worst. I think it's more or less the skin around that I pick a lot, but still. Okay, Oakley, ignore my dirty ass bench, okay? So I'm actually going to take my rings off for this just because I don't want to get anything on my rings. So on the back, there's only five steps, which to me sounds incredible because I don't like doing a lot of things to my nails if I don't need to, if that makes any sense. Okay, so this angle is terrible, but you do get extra adhesives if you want an extra support. But this is a little pack that it comes with. This is the alcohol swab, and then it comes with a little nail file and one of those wooden little cutie type of things but this is what the nails look like again like i said at the start i am more of a long coffin type of nail girl as you guys probably have noticed but i haven't worn nails in so long so i i'm liking the length of these so we'll see how they go for me so step one is choose the best size nail to your finger and set aside in order so i'm gonna pick and choose my nails now these look really cool i'm not gonna lie so this is what the nail actually looks like out of the packet this is the nail and then this is the sticky part at the back as you can see this is so hard hard to show you i'm so sorry so obviously you peel that and stick it on but i'm just going to test it against my nail obviously i'm just going to measure it to my thumb which fits so i'm going to put that there and i'm going to do it again for this one on this hand i'm going to do both hands at the same time because why not well these are going to be really short and i'm just going to do this my entire hands over here you can't really see i do have all the nails in place and in the order that i want for my nails we're up to the next step now wipe each nail using the alcohol wipe provided before applying okay so i'm just going to prep my my nails like so it doesn't actually smell that bad it smells pretty good not cons it's not really like the strong alcohol smell that you usually get it just smells like soap <laughs> next is peel off the film and align under cuticle carefully so i'm going to start with my pinkies and i'm going to start with the left hand over here so the backing looks like this there's a little tab i don't know if you can tell but you basically peel this off and then you have the sticky residue that you just place right on your nail press down firmly with your thumb for at least 15 seconds okay oh that's not not too bad oh mm, that feels kind of sturdy too okay sis honestly it doesn't look that bad and i think it's pretty stuck on there next up is the little cheetah print one which is the ring finger and i'm just gonna obviously do the same thing and peel the backing off so i'm just gonna do the same thing that i did with the other nail make sure it's straight which that one is not chloe jesus christ it's pretty easy because this is my first time doing anything like this i'm pretty sure i don't think i've used press on nails before i don't think i have while i'm pressing this down it does say to remove them you just peel the nails off gently from the sides using the stick that it comes with so you can obviously just 
change it out whenever you feel like it. This is really exciting. I haven't had any nails on in so long, so I feel like naked. I do just want to say that when you take these out of the packet and like kind of play around with them, they do kind of feel a little bit flimsy. I feel like I express myself a lot with my nails. And like this is kind of natural for me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a black before, so this is kind of scary. So this is the hand I just did. And honestly, it's not that bad. And these are fairly short, as you can see. But because I haven't had nails on in so long, I feel like this is a good length for me because I haven't had them on in so long. But that's not bad. I like this. I'm going to do the other hand like I did with this hand and then come back. Ultimately, Oakley. So this is what my hands look like. This is actually really exciting. I actually really like them. I thought I wouldn't because I'm just not used to any like doing anything like this. So these are what they look like. The lining is kind of bad. I apologize. I really like them. I like the length because it is the first time wearing nails in so, so long. I just want to see how long they last. It's currently a Tuesday and I'm going to be filming this video all week. So I really want to see if they last long. But they feel pretty sturdy. Like I can't really, they're not really doing much if I do this. Like they're pretty stuck on there. I really do want to see how they last in the shower. I feel like that would be the pinnacle point to see if they last. Because in the shower I like scrub my hair really, really hard. But I think they're cute. But again, all the information will be linked down below. I'm pretty sure they might have given me a coupon code as well. But everything will be down below. Not too shabby for my first time doing press on. So let's move on to the next step of getting my glow up. <laughs> okay everyone, so step two is to get my eyebrows done. Now I haven't got my eyebrows done since I got them microbladed or tattooed, whatever you want to call them. I don't think I've really ever got my brows waxed or shaped before, which is what I'm getting done today. I'm getting my brows sculpted and waxed and then I'm going to get a brow dye. I'm actually really excited. I haven't really had anything done to my brows in a hot ass minute. I do want to obviously give you an update on my nails. I woke up with one nail missing this morning. I'm kind of a heavy sleeper, so I probably hit it somewhere. I also did the dishes as well, so this one fell off. So both my pointer fingers fell off. All I did was grab the adhesive little stick-ons that comes with the pack and just stuck this on and it's brand new. So it's pretty easy if one falls off. Oh, these are my eyes. Pretty. So this is my right brow and this is my left. My left brow is much more uglier, <laughs> but this is the before on both brows. I'm really nervous to see how they turn out because every time I get my brows done, or like I try to get them done, something happens because I think one eyebrow just looks worse than the other. So I don't know if she's going to be able to do them properly, ignore my pimple. I will see. I'm excited. I think once I have my brows on, I think everything else is going to fall into place. And these are my brows after. I am literally obsessed with these. They are a little bit dark. They did obviously get a brow dye, but they are going to lighten up throughout the week. My brows have never looked this good in my entire life because I rarely do anything to my brows. But like she shaped them and waxed them and then put dye in them, obviously. But like my eyebrows haven't looked so lot in so long. The shape is what's getting me absolutely riled up because like the shape is incredible. I feel like shaping brows make the brow, not dyeing them. Does that make sense? Look at like look at that. Look look at that. Oh my god. Like literally my brows are amazing. Um shout out to the lady that did it. She watches my channel so shout out to you girly. I appreciate it. Now moving on to the next step which is gonna be skincare. Hello everybody, I am now out of the shower. I'm now going to do my skincare. My skin is not liking me this time around. I've got a couple like dry skin around my brows, but that's because of the waxing. But everywhere else is kind of like shit today. And it's not cute. It really isn't. Like, what is this? I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit and we're gonna start with my skincare. I don't necessarily have a skincare routine. I rarely do skincare, which probably is why my skin looks like this. First off, before I start anything, my nails, two of them came off after the shower. So I got out and I dried my body and two of them fell off. But I just stuck them back on and they're good as news. So anyway, so we're going to start with my face now. So in the shower, you probably saw I did clean my face. This is the purifying exfoliating wash for the oily skin. The urn's going off. I apologize. But this is the face wash I always use. So I want to do a face mask. I want to do some pore strips. And I want to cleanse my face, put some oil on it, and put some eye cream on it. That's pretty much my thing. I'm going to do the pore strip first. So I bought this from Aldi ages ago. I don't really notice my pores, but right now they're disgustingly big. So I'm going to open this. I don't know how. I just have a spray bottle of water and I'm gonna spray my nose with it. Okay, that's really wet as shit, Chloe. Oh, that's probably way too high. But that is the pore strip kit. I don't know what to do now. Can I do anything while this is on my face? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the products I'm going to use while this sits. After this, I'm going to do a face mask. I'm going to use this one today. I got this for my birthday. And I still haven't used it. This is from Skin Republic. This is a fresh glow face mask. And it's in the shape of a parrot. Revive and brighten, super hydrating, and next level radiance. I usually like skin masks better than, like, clay masks. I'm getting, like, 
saliva saying masks. I usually use the Garnier one. Sometimes they're pretty good, but some of them are drying for my skin, so I have to pick and choose. But if I do use a clay mask, I use this. I bought this on a whim one day because it was on sale at Priceline. And this is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This is pretty good. It dries down really, really quickly. But I'm just going to do a sheet mask today because I haven't done one in quite a while. And then after that, I'm going to moisturize and put on some eye cream by Bobbi Brown, which I use always in my vlogs. And then I'm going to use some oil. And that's pretty much my little skincare. So I take this off now. It's going to kill me. Oh, that really hurts. I literally got my eyebrows waxed the other day. Why can I not just pull this off? Oh, ASMR. Oh, shit. Ew, that got a couple shits out. That's not scary at all. Oh, my God. This is the face <laughs> Oh my god, it looks massive. Oh my god, this is cold. Oh god, I look cute. It smells really good, but I need to get this off because I hate this part. Why is the eyeball so big? I think I'm just gonna lay down and just chill with the face mask on. So I'll be back. It's time to take this off, but dad's on my phone in the other room, so I'm kind of like whispering, so I apologize. Oh, so I apologize, but I'm gonna take this off. Oh, okay, we love a glow. I'm gonna put my eyes itchy. I'm gonna put on some eye cream. I'm just gonna blend that out. I don't actually know if this does anything. I usually do this at night time and I put on a night cream as well. We're gonna do face oil now. I don't necessarily always do face oil and because I did the other face mask, there is kind of already oil on my face, but I wanna add more because why not? This is the Nude Pro Genius Omega Treatment Oil. So I'm just gonna put that on my face. I have no idea if any of this is gonna work. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And it's also kind of gonna blend in with the mask my skin looks very red anyways now moving on i'm going to moisturize the moisturizer i use isn't like the most special thing in the world it's literally just cetaphil i don't have the best things in the world but i'm just gonna use like two pumps of this just to get me skin a bit moisturized even though it's covered in oil just mix everything together and make like a little concoction of however much shit is on my face right now <laughs> look at my now i'm gonna move on to my last step i'm gonna use the facial spray and there we have it. My skincare is done. I don't know if it's going to help with anything. But all I'm going to do now, like, with my hair and everything is just let it air dry. I don't really blow dry my hair. Like, it's very rare for me to do that. This is my skin. Let's move on to my hair, makeup, and my outfit, which are the final three steps to my glow up routine. Okay, okay, the time has come and we're going to get glam now. Thank the heavens. <laughs> I have plans tonight. So this is like a glow up routine for plans. We're going to finally start getting ready. We have my brows that we've got my skincare done we shouldn't really do anything because my skin hates me because i've worn makeup three days in a row this week so that's fun and we're about to have my outfit my hair and my makeup done if i have a day out like with the girls or with like anyone else i usually go for natural makeup but sometimes i like to go all out but today i'm going to do natural so you guys have been wanting me to do natural makeup for a while <laughs> we're going to start so i'm going to prime this is the elf pores putty primer i always use this to prime my face but i just use a stippling brush and put this on my face i don't like using my fingers i don't know I just feel like it works a lot better when I use a brush. I also should give you an update on my brows. I got them done on Tuesday. Today is now Saturday. I've worn makeup. I'm taking this nail off. It's about to fall off, so I'm taking it off. Okay, great. I wore makeup two days ago, and I haven't put anything in my brows. So I think maybe today I might fill them in just a little bit. While well, I let that sink in and go into my pores and shit, I'm going to choose a foundation. When I want to do full beat, there's like a mix of foundations I like to use. I always usually use the Revolution foundation. I use it all the time on my channel. I use F2. Too. It's a little bit darker, but it's so natural. I love it. I have always used the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is in Alabaster. I'm running low on this, so I think I'm going to mix these two together for today's foundation mix. So with this foundation, obviously, it comes like a massive concealer. I love this applicator, so it's just easy as to just put straight on your face. So I'm just going to put this literally all over my face. So basically, today, I'm just meeting up with my girlfriends, obviously, Ebony, Lexi, and Rhiannon. I think Alyssa's going to be there as well. They know me so well that I'm going to go full beat, and I don't think they know I'm filming a video today. <laughs> if we've went out, I don't think I've never worn makeup, which sounds bad, but like that's me to a T. I'm just going to grab my Maybelline Superstay foundation in True Ivory and just plop that on the sponge and just whack that on top. It's pretty full coverage, but I am a full coverage queen. So I'm just going to blend that out. I'm that person that like goes out of their way to spend hours getting ready for an event that isn't even theirs. But I don't want to like up show the person that like I'm going to the event. I just like to be extra. I'm 
weird. I'm just going to grab some powder. I get this ready when I put my concealer on. This is the air spun. But now I'm going to put some concealer on. I'm just going to swipe it. Swipe and no swiping. Door up in this shit on my face. I use a lot of concealer. I really shouldn't use this much concealer, but here we are. I'm going to use the tip of the beauty blender with the air spun powder I just took out before and basically bake the entire area I just used for concealer. I'm going to set that all. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. You've probably seen all these techniques in my videos, but obviously I'm just going to mention it again. Don't forget the neck, everybody. So I think my foundation and stuff is on now. Usually I'd go straight into my eyes now, but I'm going to like touch up my brows a little bit because they're looking a little bit powdery. But I'm just going to use the ColourPop Brow Boss. I'm just going to first of all just spoolie everything away. <laughs> like they're pretty dark still, so I'm pretty okay with it. But I do want to add that bit more definition to my brows. So I'm just going to like roughly fill in the blank spots. Like I don't need to do that much to them. Then my eyebrows are done. That's the quickest time I've ever set on my eyebrows. <laughs> my eyebrows take me forever. So I'm so glad I finally did this step to get them done like this. We're going to move on to the eyes. I'm just going to do really, really natural makeup today. But I do want to do like a glittery lid. I want some extraness to my eyeshadow today. I kind of just stick with the same palette. So I want to change up what I use today. For my palette today, I'm going to be using the Villain palette from Colourpop. I'm probably going to be using Devious, maybe. And this on my lid. I think this shade on my lid is going to look... First of all, I'm going to prime my lid because I always do that, obviously. I'm just going to use the P. Louise base in 0.5. I love the P. Louise base. So I'm just going to cover my eyeball in this. I'm just going to spread this all over my eyelid while also cutting the brow out. I'm just going to tap that in so I can have a seamless blend for the eyeshadow. So now I am primed and ready to go. I'm very excited. Because it's such a natural look, I think I'm going to use a massive crease brush. This is the Morphe 441. I'm going to use Devious, which is this color right here. I feel like I haven't used this palette in literally forever. I did a review on this and I think I've used it maybe a couple times since then. I haven't really used it often. But I'm just going to whack this straight in my crease. This is hella pigmented. So Colourpop, thank you. So I'm going to put this right in the crease, dabbing it onto the P. Louise base. Because then I can blend it up afterwards. But I just want the pigment to get on my eye first. Then I will work my way up with blending it. That's what it's looking like so far. So I'm going to do the other eye really quickly. That is the colour on my lid. So I'm going to get a fluffier brush. This is massive and i'm gonna grab the shade tragic which is right next to it and it's a lot lighter than i just used so i'm going to use this to blend out the edges so i'm just gonna have a light hand and i'm just gonna blend it that out in circular motions and hopefully it looks good not too shabby okay okay so if it's looking like this i think it's okay so we'll be adding a highlighter shade to my brow bone but i do obviously want to bring back that pigmentation that i did lose blending it out so i'm just gonna tap a little bit more blend a little bit more it just takes a lot of time so I'm now going to cut the crease and put the lid shade on and then I'll go back to the crease and work everything out. So I cut the crease with the P. Louise base in zero, which is the white one. I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. I'm going to get my brush, wherever the fudge that went, and just carve out a new crease for myself. So I think for the lid shade, I'm going to go back in with the ColourPop palette. I'm going to get a flat shade of brush. This is the 124 by Morphe. And I'm going to grab this shimmery shade that I mentioned before. It is a bit chunkier. So I'm just going to put that right on top of the P. Louise base I just put on. A little bit of fallout, but I can easily clean that up. So don't stress. That's a really pretty color. Oh my God. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. There's a shade in here called West Side. And it's a bit dark. And I want to use it on the outer corner to blend everything together. So this is the Jack and Hill brush in number 34. I'm going to grab that. Just put that on the outer corner just to blend out the glitter as well but also to add some more definition. So now I have to just go back and forth with all the colors I've used just to blend everything out and make sure everything's seamless. So that's pretty much the eyeshadow done. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side and then we can do the brow bone and stuff like that. I'm going to zoom past this because I've already kind of done it. <laughs> I feel like this eye is darker so that's also fun. Do I put eyeliner on today? That's the question. Okay. I'm going to do my low lash line and see while I'm doing that if I want to do my eyeliner or not. So I'm just going to use the same color I put in the crease, which is from the Villains collection from Colourpop. I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line, blending it in with the corner part. This is really natural for me. Honestly, I'm kind of liking it, kind of hating it. Now for the rest of my eyes, I have to do mascara and lashes. I think I might add a little, little, little bit of eyeliner just to make sure my lashes blend in. I'm not going to do a wing or anything and then I have to start my face. This is my 
my eyeliner pen I always use. All these products will be listed down below anyway. So I'm just going to do this very, very small line. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Is that even? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave it because if I touch it even more, it's going to go absolutely bizarre. So I'm going to put some mascara on. Not too much because I'm going to be putting on lashes. This is the Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. So I'm basically just making these black. I'm not really making them look pretty or anything because I will be putting on lashes. But I just want them to be black and not covered in eyeshadow and powder. <laughs> Okay, friends, I'm back. I had lunch. I think now I'm probably going to do my lashes and stuff. But recently, I've been doing my contour and bronzer first, then baking it, and then putting my lashes on. And by the time my lashes are stuck on, I can wipe away the bake, if that makes sense. I'm going to do my contour and bronzer right now. For contour, I'm going to use my Hula bronzer, like always. And I like to use a lot of bronzer and contour. You guys already know that. So I'm just going to contour my cheekbones and make them all snatched and stuff. Oh, that's a lot. It's fine, we'll blend it. It's okay. But that is contour on. I'm now going to go with bronzer, which is the I Love Revolution Chocolate Heart. It just looks like this. I love glowy bronzers and this shit is so good. So I'm just going to put that right on top of the contour and just blend them all together. Like I feel like because I have such a bronzy eye look, I have to kind of go ham with the bronzer. I do anyway, but... Okay, so what I've been doing recently is I've actually been doing my nose contour. I don't know how to contour my nose properly, but I saw a hack on TikTok. But they got your bronzer and literally just wiped it across their nose like I do with my blush basically so obviously my nose looks crazy what they do now is they grab their powder and they do the same thing they do under their cheeks which is what I'm gonna do now on their nose so I'm just gonna grab the translucent powder that I used obviously to bake and i'm gonna bake under my contour and stuff um, but like that i'm gonna do the same thing to my nose this is a morphe sponge by the way straight down the center of my nose with that powder like so oh i look snatched i let that sink in while i do my lashes so these are supernova lashes i love these you guys know these are my right or dies this is an astro i'm gonna grab these lashes out these are what they look like i'm gonna look down into the mirror and place these as close to my lash line as i possibly can why is this eye watering I I don't know. Oh my god. I feel like lashes make a freaking look and I'm, I look so good. So now I'm going to move on to blush, which is my favorite part. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder I always use. This is in Maui 3 and I'm just going to grab that on that and take my cheeks in color. Obviously I'm going to do my nose as well. So now I'm going to add a highlighter. So this is the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. So I'm just going to add this to my cheekbone and then I'm going to grab a much smaller brush and do my nose and my bridge of my nose. So right in between where I did the contour. And the final step is lips, but I'm going to do that after my hair. But I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, my favorite setting spray of all time. So I want this to stay on my face for literally all night and just fan myself dry. And we can start on the hair. Oh, I'm excited! So I'm going to curl my hair for the first time in like ages. This is the curling iron I'm going to use. This is the Remington Nourish Chronicle Wand. And then I'm going to use dry shampoo before I do anything because my hair is oily. And then to set it all I'm going to be using the toughest hairspray of all time. This is the Squats Cough Got To Be Glued. I had this for my wigs to glue my wigs down. This shit is so good. So I'm going to use this because I'm probably going to have a shower tomorrow anyway. Let me read these instructions and then we can get started on my hair. Where are the instructions on this? Before starting, put on the heat protecting glove on the hand that you will be using to curl my left because this is the yeah i'm gonna yeah my left i'm gonna put on my left jesus christ chloe but how do i use the little buttons on this what does the buttons mean this is confusing <laughs> oh that's heating up quick holy shit okay i'm just gonna use a bit of dry shampoo this is the batiste dry shampoo i love this stuff that's literally just air great it's just air i don't really know what i'm doing Oh, Jesus. I'm nervous. Oh, it stopped flashing. Does that mean it's on? Oh, it's steaming. Oh, it's making noise. God, these gloves fit for a four-year-old. Jesus Christ. I'm going to start with the back because that's important. Oh, God, this is scary. How long do I hold it for? Does that even work? <laughs> I can't even see the back of my head. That's the problem. Oh, it's kind of curled. Oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Ow, that's my ear. Am I doing this right? Holy shit, this is definitely going to go wrong. What is that? Also, if you're a hairdresser or anything, please don't judge me in the comments. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, I'm getting good. Not really. I don't even know how to curl hair properly. Look at that. But like, look how bouncy. I'm just having fun with this. If it looks like shit, it looks like shit. Like, I'm just having fun. I'm gonna take this scrunchie out. And I'm just gonna take the top part. And I'm gonna tie the little top part up. Of course, it has to be construction, doesn't there? This looks nice. That's a sick curl. Ignore the top part. But look at that curl. I feel like Harry Potter. 
it's so bouncy so i'm gonna just spray this side of my hair this is so exciting a bunch of birds just flew past i think i'm gonna do the top half now where is my comb dude those two look so good that didn't really turn out well did it not gonna lie i'm pretty proud of myself i'm feeling fancy y'all okay i'm just gonna play my music and do the rest of my hair because i feel like this is taking a lot longer than i thought it would <laughs> So I just did my hair, but I'm going to brush it out now. I'm going to grab my big ass comb. And the top of my head looks really flat now. Did I do good? It's definitely different. <laughs> also, I did put some hoops in while I was waiting for my hair to set, I guess. So now, all I have to do is just finish off my makeup, which is basically just my lips. Put an outfit on and we're pretty much done. I feel really good. I'm going to choose a lipstick color. This is the lipstick brand I'm using. This is the same brand as my eyeliner. This one is in shade 49 in Indian Peach. Oh, it's very dark. It's like chocolate. So I'm going to go off camera and put my outfit on and tell you guys where it's all from and stuff. I'm going to fix these nails and then I think we're going to be pretty much done for the rest of the video. Okay, everybody. I am now ready. My God, I look like a different person. I feel like a different person. My hair is done and my earrings are in. I gotta fix my nails, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. This set is from Shein, but they're two different sets, I guess. The pants are in a set, but the shirt is separate. But this shirt is just a long sleeve little number with a drag on the front. And these are cargo pants. These are both from Shein. I'm pretty sure you've already seen the haul, but they're just cargo pants. Very exciting. And then my boots. I'm just gonna wear these. These are from Kmart. These are also in a vlog. That's pretty much it, everybody. This is a close up of my makeup. But sis, I look like a different person. What is happening? But guys, that is the end of my glow up routine. Honestly, I'm feeling myself. I am very, very proud of how I look with or without makeup, but I'm very proud of how my hair turned out and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video from me getting my brows done, skincare, hair, makeup, nails, outfit, all of that. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. All my social media links and all the links and information you guys will need to know will be linked down below in the description box, like always. If you're new here, please subscribe and make two videos a week for you guys every monday and thursday that's pretty much it everybody remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone